rough start that you had yeah. to throw that touchdown pass to Juju to give you guys the lead for good. What was that feeling, knowing that, that you guys were finally starting to come there? Yeah, I think I think it was a it was a crucial drive there. Um, you know, not only the one to Juju, but just responded as an offense, and, and you know your backs are up against the wall. You dig, you dig a little bit of a hole there in the first half, and uh, hey, I thought we were, you know, I was really proud of the way we responded as a, as an offense, moving the ball on the field. And uh, you know, trying to get that double score there, you know, before the half, and uh, probably really responded though. Why did you uh, attribute the slow start, Mason? Yeah, I think um, you know we started slow for whatever reason. I was you know obviously it doesn't help when you throw an interception there in the first drive, and um, you know uh, I could, you know don't want to give any excuses. Um, so I, I thought you know we we really. You know, we we came out a little slow, and and uh, but we kept fighting. We got a lot of leadership on that on, on, on the offensive line on our team in general. And um, you know, guys don't guys are never gonna shy away from competition or shy away from you know going back out there with a with a positive attitude and outlook just because of an interception or or any any turnover. We were very you know hard nosed group and uh, kept fighting. On the uh, the play before. The, uh, throw to, the touchdown throw to Deontay. They called timeout. It looked like they were going to play coverage. Yeah. And uh, they had three guys down. Yeah, they, they decided they, to they come back you know, cover up, zero, zero, bring it, bring everybody out, empty it out, and uh, they did a great job protecting up front and giving me a chance to to get the ball off. And uh, yeah, I mean, you saw like they basically doubled Juju. Uh, the corner didn't run with with Deontay and uh, James Washington. What an unbelievable block down the field to the left to kind of secure that. Um, with time expiring there. So, I mean, great job. Almost like a punt return situation where blocks downfield are crucial. You were backed up in the second quarter. It was a third and 11 from the six yard line or thereabouts. Yeah. You hit Johnson for 12. It yeah. looked like that got you going. Did that feel like a turning point? Yeah, I think, you know, he's, he's continuing to make big plays for us in, in big situations on third down um, and got to have it situations with our back against the wall. And I think uh, he, he's a type of a player. He's a young player, but he's. Really stepping up to the plate, and uh, along with James Washington and uh, Juju is you know, at the core of that group. And uh, I think you keep seeing those guys make big plays and keep moving the chains for us. DeCastro said that you made the call at the line of scrimmage on that Deontay Johnson just yeah. You saw the eight coming. But from that moment, what are you then looking for? Is it that you mentioned that what they're doing to Juju first? Yeah. Is that your key as to what is to look for Deontay next, or what? Yeah, make you know. Make the protection adjustment there with with the zero look, and then uh, yeah, like I said, you, you kind of had an inside inside fade with, with with an outside one step slant, and um, you know they they both stayed with Juju, they both bailed out, played coverage, were very soft, didn't want to get beat deep type of mentality, and and uh, just took what the defense gave us there, and Deontay did a great job of catching the ball in the run and and, and and getting yards after the catch, and like I touched on earlier with James with the, with the crucial block on the field was big time. Mason, all week you said you would play aggressive and not think about the hit against the Ravens. Was yeah. there a moment where you took a hit and you were like, "All right, I'm good," you know, kind of settle in? Yeah, I think I, you know I took some early, um, you know, and uh, didn't didn't phase me really at all. I think it was, it was it's good to get that uh, you know first one in and, and, and handle it and, and move forward. And you know, I've, I'm never going to shy away from contact or you know I'm going to try to play the position as physical as I can. And uh, you know, but but yeah, I guess it was good in a sense to put it behind me and get the first one in. But uh, never thought about it twice moving forward. There was a play where you scrambled a little bit, maybe could have thrown it away or slid. Did you get yeah. an earful about taking the hit there? Yeah, uh, coach. You know, he just that's you know playing team football and, and throwing the ball away and give us a chance when I really wasn't going to get a whole lot of yardage there. And, and uh, so, but I, you know, yes, for sure. You know, that, that's one of the mistakes. You know, corrections you'll make and you'll look back and you'll move forward and, and correct it. Mason Juju was making those one-on-one -on -one catches down the sideline a lot in camp. Yeah, hasn't happened so much this season. Did you guys want to make more of an effort if you got those situations to just go to him if it's one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, I think um, he's a great player. You got to feed him no matter what. But he, he's he's proven to be you know a force down the field uh, in those combat catch situations. And um, you know we, we 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 knew we wanted to be more aggressive as an offense. And uh, whoever was going to make the plays. Um, we got a lot of guys that are capable of doing that, and I think he stepped up in those big situations, and, and uh, like he's always done, and uh, you know, capitalize on those kind of those combat catches. Mason, can you speak to the game that Connor had for you guys today? Yeah, unbelievable job. You know, it came out hot early, and that really kind of sparked us as an offense. And Coach Tom would have been talking about you know all week uh, securing the ten yard runs, and, and hey, we need more of them, and, and uh, just 
making ourselves more of a complete offense. And I think, uh, you know, the, I think the really challenged the offensive line, which, which had been doing great in that area kind of all week. And, and James did a, did a good job. And um, yeah, he's, he's playing with up there at the top of the, you know, the kind of the, you know, the competition with the running backs in this league. He's, he's, he's a physical guy. And uh, he really provided us with a spark today. You guys were uh, getting booed early. That bother you at all as a young quarterback? Hey, I mean, I you know I would have booed I would have booed, booed that performance too. I mean, I mean, you know, coming out slow and uh, you know it's a Pittsburgh Steelers. There's a standard here, and, and uh, we weren't meeting it at the time. And so, you know, I think, uh, but, but hey, when your back's against the wall and, and uh, you dig yourself a hole, 14-0, and, and, and to come back the way we did, I was really proud of the group. Really proud of the way we, re we responded as an offense. Is that an asset to you on the sideline? For sure. You know, I think, uh, I, I, you know. He, he's he's been more helpful than I really thought. I mean, I've you know, such a, t a tough situation, having your season taken from you like like that. And um, but he, he's 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 been great, giving input at halftime. He's been up on the whiteboard at times, drawing stuff out. Uh, so he's been awesome in that regard. Yes. Do you get a sense from the crowd that they would like you to throw one banners away? Banners away? Yeah, I think uh, I, I think at, at, at one point. I think they're at one of those last drives. I was when, when you know 72's entered the game. He's eligible, and I said, "Are they cheering for you?" I think he's, he's like, he was, you know, he's like, "Yeah, they are." You know, so he's he's uh, so he was real happy about that. But uh, yeah, we we got a we definitely got to dial up a, a shot to you know 72 downfield or somewhere. I don't know if he can, how far he can get, get downfield, but uh, give him, give him a ball at some point. Yeah. Got it for Mason. Thank you.